Good Monday, makers. Welcome to Maker Pipe Monday. This is where we go over all the community builds that have been posted throughout the week. Very creative builds, really fun thing to do on a Monday morning. Let's take a look at what we have. We've got a good group. The first one is by Emmanuel Hernandez. And I couldn't agree with him more that he says you can never have enough firewood. You really can't. I mean, if you're trying to chop firewood and get it yourself, you just can't have enough. And he's got this beautiful Can-Am 6x6 Outlander ATV, which the thing is just amazing. It's got a dump bed and he uses it to carry firewood. Uh, his problem is he can't fit enough into the back of the bed. He can, it can hold 800 pounds, but he's always had a lack of real estate. So he goes and solves this problem with conduit and maker pipe I, I absolutely love it because he says the cheapest one that he could find was $750 to, to make sides for the bed of his Outlander. But he did this with less than a hundred bucks and it can fill to his heart's content. Um, and check this out. It really came out fantastic. He's got connectors that attach right to this side rail on the dump bed. And then he created this whole frame around it to hold the firewood in. That's a great picture. You can see he gets onto these handles and then goes up, makes this frame. He had some beautiful wood sides uh, that he made for it and it just came out fantastic. Looks like he's got a great view there and a great location, um, but check that out. There it is, packed to the gills with firewood. At least a cord in the bed. Love to see it. Um, thanks, Emmanuel. Love seeing that build. Really appreciate you showing us. The next one we've got is by Mike B, who did a review on the T-Connector. Thank you, Mike. We appreciate the review. And he um, is doing some hydroponic growing in his home. And uh, he had this harebrained idea for a rack that he got inspired on YouTube. And instead of welding the rack together, he wanted to use our connectors. And uh, he told his wife about it, as he says in the review, and she said, I'll have to see it, kind of challenging him, it sounds like. Uh, but he rose to the occasion, uh, built it out of maker pipe, and uh, was allowed to you know, get total freedom for size, dimensions, creativity, he mentioned. And uh, he said his wife can even recognize it from the stick figure drawing that he did and showed her, and there it is. He's got a great hydroponic system uh, for his home indoors, He's got fans mounted on the right here. Uh, I believe these are the lights and um, some water treatment down here. Uh, but it looks great, did the trick, and we couldn't be happier seeing this, Mike. Thanks so much for the review. We truly appreciate it, and we love seeing your build. I'm glad you impressed your wife. That's pretty awesome. Next one we have is by Barry, and Barry needed to make a shade structure uh, with shade cloth over their 20 by 16 deck. And take a look at this, how awesome that came out. Got lights all the way around their deck. Uh, they attached the conduit right along the railing, which I think is a great way because there's a lot of off the shelf solutions like conduit straps to just anchor that instead of going right into the top of the deck rail. This is a great way to do it. And then they just popped up and did a whole shade cloth roof. Uh, we've got a center support in the middle here for the long span, and then even braced it with some 45s in the corners where they needed it. Fantastic build, Barry. I'm glad you love it. Thanks so much for the pictures, looks great. Hope you have a lot of beautiful evenings out there. Next one we have is by Matthew Compton, Kickstarter backer and uh, our friend, um, he has built so many cool things. We've labeled him the king of hacks. We do an interview video with him. Check out that if you'd like to see more of his uh, really creative ways of using maker pipe. But he's been with us from the beginning and we can't be more thankful, Matthew. Really appreciate it. And this is actually the second desk frame that he's done. Uh, I think he did one for his son. And then here's another version where he's got an existing desk 
And then he does this whole shelving structure around that desk to make it more useful. I mean, you can't beat that. Looks great. He covered it in white wrap. And uh, another fantastic build, Matthew. Keep them coming. Thanks so much. And the last one we've got is by Chris. And Chris, uh, we've been featuring a lot of his work. He's been doing some great things. He made a, uh, a bicycle cart with an articulating solar panel so he can power his e-bike and go on long treks. Uh, but in the process of that, he's also been 3D printing a lot, I can tell, which is an awesome technology. Uh, really versatile when it comes to making. And um, he, in his design for that cart, he did some 3D printed connectors for the extruded aluminum, but he's since got into 3D printing some accessories for Maker Pipe, which is fantastic. And I love seeing it. This first one, we've, he's got three that he shared with us, but the first one is this articulating ball uh, joint where you can put it into two T connectors, or really any connectors, I guess, and then um, it allows full 360 degree mo movement, excuse me, and he does that by printing this as a whole, and then two halves that wrap around, kind of like a, a hip joint almost, really neat. Um, and so he's got that one, and he says, uh, maker pipe, is like having an erector set for adults, which is so cool. We all enjoyed erector sets as kids, um, and I'm glad he's having a lot of fun. And then Chris also did this, which is another adjustable piece, uh, but in one plane where he can do that. And that's some really neat work there where he 3D printed and then put a, a pin in there. Fantastic, Chris. I like it. And then the last one here is a hinged flange uh, where you, you mount it to a flat surface. It's got that same uh, bolt and nut there. And then that allows you to mount to a flat surface and pivot like that. So really great ideas. I think you shared all the files. So if you're, if you're interested in printing any of these, uh, you can do that. And Chris, fantastic work. Keep them coming. Uh, I love what you've been doing, and, and it's a pleasure for us to share it. Um, thank you to everyone that posted their builds this week. We really, really appreciate all the work you put in and then wanting to share with us. It really uh, makes us very excited to see your creativity and everything you build. And if you want to see more builds like this, more creative ways to use Conduit and Maker Pipe, uh, we'd love to have you as a subscriber on the channel. Please subscribe, like the video. Uh, we love doing this every week, and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much.